Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning about mail merge in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, first up, what exactly is mail merge? Mail merge in Excel is a simple yet spectacular method to write similar emails to hundreds and thousands of recipients without a hassle or even a single error. Let us imagine that you are supposed to write an interview call letter to multiple recipients. So, what if you had like 5 recipients? You could do 5 different emails and you could send them. But what if you had 50 or even 500, right? That would seem a little troublesome and you might even feel that you might want a whole team to do that, right? But what if I say that you can do the same with one single mail within a matter of minutes, you send all the emails to all the 50 or 500 recipients. Sounds interesting, right? So now in this particular tutorial, we are going to do the same. Now without further ado, let's directly get onto the practical mode and start our Excel and try to do some mail merge in Excel. Now we are on practical mode and we have started our Microsoft Excel. So regarding the example we discussed earlier, that is sending an interview call letter to multiple people, that's what exactly this Excel sheet does. So here we have about 25 members or 25 candidates with their first name, last name and email and their address written over. Now where is our call letter? Now this happens to be our call letter. So the call letter is been sent from an imaginary company that is Smart Solutions Private Limited India and followed by that we are having one recipient here who happens to be Mia and uh, the subject and everything all the text related to the interview call. Now we are trying to send this one single interview call letter to all the 25 people. Now the only change that is going to happen is the recipient's name and address is going to change and the addressing for example here you can see dear Mia so instead of dear Mia we are going to greet the recipient with their particular name so that's what we are going to try to do now so to do that you have to go into the toolbar and select mailings option in the mailings option you can see the start mail merge select recipients edit recipient and all other options. So here you might want to select the second group and inside the second group you have an option called select recipients. Click on that and now it will show you some options. The first one is type in new list. So if you are having some list then you can type in or if you already have an existing list like what we did creating an excel sheet and storing all the email and address and all the recipients complete details you can use that as well. So here we are going to use the existing list. So click on that. Now it will show you a new dialog box using which you have to navigate to the existing list. So our existing list is named as mail merge. So click on that and select open. Now press OK. Now the next part is to address all the details. So here you can see that to address and after that you can see the addressing of the recipient. Now we have to encode this mail in such a way that to all the recipients automatically Excel will replace the addresses, names and the greetings. Right? Now let's try that. Now let's try to encode the address part. So highlight the address part and in the same mailings option you can find the address block in write and insert fields ribbon. So let's select that and now you can see the address of everyone, right? So this is the preview of the recipient's address. Now you can see that the recipient's full name and state is only available here, not the street and house number etc. Now you can fix that by selecting the match fields option and here you can include the address so which might be the house department and the second one would be street and uh, postal code you can match it with pin code 
and that's all yeah remaining we have everything else let's look at the preview and this is how it looks like perfect now let's select ok Now that's fine and uh, similarly we will also try to match the just a moment yeah similarly we'll try to encode the recipient's name now for that let's go into the greetings line here you can see you can select the option dear sir or dear ma'am or to whomever may, may concern and uh, here you have another option to or just dear so we'll go with dear and this is how the preview looks like and if you're happy with that it's okay and if you want to parallelly check for other things I mean other recipients you can also do that for example the next recipient is Santo Shastri and followed by him we have Prabhakar Reddy Rajesh Saho right you can also check everything and here you can also see the address changing on the mail so you can check for Jagadish Chari his address and his name right so it looks like it's working perfectly now select ok and that's done now we are in the final stage and in the mailings option you can see the last two options that is the preview results and finish so before merging and finishing the mail merge we shall go through a quick preview to check if everything is fine or not so here you can see we have the address block this is how the encoding looks like and uh, if you replace the encoding with the actual address and name this is how the actual address and name look like and you can check all the letters you can just click on the arrow key here and you can check all the recipients address and their uh, names right so if you can find any errors you can replace them and if not if everything is fine then you can just quickly press on the finish and merge option when you finish merge option or finish and merge option you get three different options that is edit individual documents print documents and send all these to the recipients now if you had any queries or if you had any doubts about or if you find any errors on the emails then you can go to that particular individual document and edit it with the first option and in the second option you can print all the documents like if you want to send a hard copy then you can print it so you can see here all and select ok and then you can you know kind of save it as a pdf or you can send the location of your printer and then just press ok right you can just save them in the form of pdf or you can directly send the emails right now i'm not connected to any printer so i'm not going to print any documents now let us try the last one this should be interesting now when you select the mail option then it automatically selects the email column from your excel sheet remember we had an email column from excel sheet right this particular column word automatically selects that column from excel and you can just select ok and all the mails will be sent to all these imaginary mailing addresses so that's how it's done now with that we have come to an end on this tutorial on mail merge in excel if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you feel that we missed out on anything important then please let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries until next time thank you stay safe and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.